Biofilm has a major nuisance and cause of harm in food processing plants everywhere. It's a complex structure of microorganisms that have the power to contaminate a product, shut down a production line, cause mass recalls, significantly damage profits, and most importantly, tarnish a brand name. The process of removing biofilm is difficult and time consuming because of its resistance to cleaning and antibacterial chemicals. However, it's absolutely necessary for the health and safety of any commercial environment, especially a food processing plant. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video where we will cover the best solutions for combating biofilm. Number one. Floor drains and other wet areas. Floor drains are a hot spot for bacteria to breathe. They are a crucial part of any facility as they promote the flow of bacteria away from clean areas. But that means all the bacteria is flowing into the same place, heading to a pile of harmful pathogens. Anywhere that bacteria and pathogens build up is a prime target for the, for the formation of biofilm. Cleaning crews should take particular care cleaning and unclogging dirty drains in order to avoid cross-contamination and the spread of biofilm. Floor drains should be one of the first areas to focus on when cleaning. Following floor drains, focus on other wet areas like hydro coolers and drip pans. Moisture creates a breeding ground for pathogens, which is why Biofilm often develops in floor drains, pipes, and anywhere that's damp. Number two, cracks and crevices in equipment and flooring. Cracks and crevices are difficult to reach and difficult to clean, making them prone to bacterial buildup. That's why there are dozens of design standards for food processing equipment. The equipment material needs to be non-absorbent, smooth, erosion resistant and durable, while machinery needs to be designed in such a way that it's accessible for cleaning and sanitation. Open seams, small gaps, lap joints, and any other openings attract microorganisms. They can be very difficult to thoroughly clean. The same goes for cracks and floorings. Cracks allow moisture to build up undetected, leading to the production bacteria that will eventually develop into biofilm. Be diligent when cleaning floors and equipment. Identify these areas, then take the time to sanitize and clean them thoroughly with the appropriate products. It's important to use the right products because not just any cleaner will eliminate biofilm. Biofilms are a collection of bacteria and other microorganisms that form a protective barrier. The protective barrier is able to protect the, the bacteria from most chemical agents, rinsing and scrubbing measures. Biofilm is resistant to common disinfectants, detergents and sanitizers, making it a challenge to eliminate. In order to eliminate it, use the TAC approach. T-A-C-T -T stands for temperature, agitation, chemistry and time. First, pre-clean the area you're treating. Then combine a chlorinated alkali cleaner and a detergent that contains surfactants and proteins. The solution should be applied to the affected area and allowed to dwell for as long as possible before aggressively scrubbing it. Finally, you want to rinse it away with warm water. While a number of different formulas and application methods can be used, we recommend this as one of the best ways to treat biofilm on equipment and flooring. For more information about biofilm, where it hides, and how to remove it, reach out to one of our chemical specialists today for a free on-site or virtual consultation. Thanks for watching. Like and sub to our channel and leave a comment below.